holds upon itself. Mirror image. Uh, question. Is this guy symmetric with respect to the x-axis? No. If I look at this part and this part, they don't look identical. This does not look like the mirror image of that, does it? Uh, this does not divide the parabola perfectly into two equal halves. So it divides it into a small part down here. There's an infinite part up there. None of those thoughts work with the x-axis. So this guy is not symmetric with respect to the x-axis. But it is uh, symmetric with respect to the y-axis. Now notice something else we can observe because it's symmetric with respect to the y-axis. Look at this point right here. symmetry with respect to the y-axis means? It means algebraically that if I substitute a number in its opposite for x, I get the same y. If I substitute a number in its opposite for x, I get the same y. That's going to be true of symmetry with respect to the y-axis. Substitute a number and its opposite for x, you should get the same one. That's going to happen with uh, symmetry with respect to the y-axis. Substitute a number and its opposite for x. You should get the same one. Yes, ma'am. What did I write? Oh, uh, sorry. It says if you substitute a number and its opposite for x, you should get the same y. And I don't even have to have a graph to do that. Here's, a, here's an example of a type of problem you're going to have on website. You're going to be given an equation like this. All right? And you're going to be asked, is this thing symmetric with respect to the y-axis? And you're going to go, well, I could draw it and see if the y-axis cuts it in. Yeah, you could do that. Or you could follow this step. Substitute a number and its opposite for x. See if you get the same one. Let's do that. Uh, and make it easy on yourself. Let x equal o oh, 2 and negative 2. That's easy enough, right? Let x equal 2 and negative 2. See if you get the same one. Okay, let's let x equal 2. 2 times 2 squared is 7. Let's let x equal negative 2. Negative 2 squared plus 7. Now here is where we better not forget. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. What do I do first here? Parentheses. Exponent. I'm finished with parentheses. Exponent. I can't do anything Exponent. Exponents. Exponents. I square the 2 first. So 2 oh. squared first. That's 4. Times 2 is 8. In this case, I square the negative 2, I still get 4 times 2 is 8. And what do you know? 15. In both cases, I get the same y. Did you notice that? Got the same result. Substitute a number and it's opposite for x. Do I get the same y? Yeah. So my conclusion is, yep, 
it's symmetric with respect to the y-axis. In other words, it's going to look a whole lot like this guy. The y-axis is going to cut it right in half. Is everybody okay with that? Yeah. How you can determine if something is symmetric with respect to the y-axis. Substitute an x and a negative x, a number in its opposite for x, and see if you get the same y. If you do, it's good. Hey, how about this guy? Is that symmetric with respect to the uh, y-axis? I don't know. Let's substitute 3 to negative 3 and see if we get the same y. Remember, I'm substituting for x. So let's see. y equals absolute value of 3. y equals absolute value of negative 3. y equals 3. y equals 3. Yep. I get the same y when I substitute 3 or negative 3, 7 or negative 7, 15 or negative 15. I'm going to get the same answer, same y. So it turns out this guy also is symmetric with respect to the y-axis. In fact, you know what it looks like? That's what it looks like. That's y equals absolute value of x. Does the... Uh, supposed to be the same on both sides, but uh, does the y-axis cut it directly in half? Yeah. Is it a mirror image of itself? Yeah. Okay. So you could graph it to find that out, or you could substitute a number in its opposite and see if you get the same y. All right. Here's another concept. How about symmetry? How about symmetry with respect to the x-axis? Symmetric with respect to the x axis? Does the x axis act as a mirror? Does that fold upon itself if you fold? No, it doesn't fold upon itself. If I folded this guy this way, I'd get a line that goes like that, right? It doesn't fold upon itself across the x axis. Yes, ma'am. And the idea is make it easy on yourself. Uh, for me, it would. I would avoid fractions. I would avoid negative numbers, just because those tend to trip people up more than the the first few counting numbers. That's just me. <coughs> but yeah, you are free to pick any x you want, substitute it, find out what the y. <coughs> So we know that this guy is not symmetric with respect to the x-axis, right? Let's go ahead and rewrite it, y equal 2x plus 3. What if we didn't know what it looked like? And all I'm given is y equals 2x plus 3. I want to know, is this symmetric with respect to the x-axis? What do you think I'm going to substitute? That's right. I'm going to substitute a number in its opposite for y. And see if I get the same x. substitute 7 and negative 7 for y. Okay, 
Here we go. Set.